<coughs> oh, bless you, Matt. Thank, bless us all. <laughs> Honestly, if this is if this is what we're doing here, we could all use some blessings after this one. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where we're not live on the couch, but so too is the family that we're presumably talking about in the Baddington tapes. You know, I, I make no promises about that. We still don't really have a solid sense of what the lore is in this thing, but we're figuring it out bit by bit, slowly. It is horrific. It is scary. It is disturbing. But it is oh so theorizable. Uh, last time we talked... Uh, last time we were sitting on the couch together, all all of us all gathered round with our little phony and Ash off in the corner. Yeah, yep. you're you're there. Are you there, Ash? I, I'm Ash, here. where are you? I'm phase here. into existence. I'm here. Sorry, hold on. No. Did you phase? Okay, do you see me? Uh, okay, there you are. Yes, yeah. Thank you. The the smoke cloud has has solidified into an actual being now. Ta da! Good, good to see you, smoke monster. <laughs> Wait, are you the smoke monster from Lost? Dun 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 dun. Big reveal! <laughs> I'm integrating into a lot of media. You, you're everywhere, man. I am. That's wild. Maybe also you are the <laughs> weird nanobot cloud that is inside of the hollow moon that is taking down the moon in the classic Roland Emmerich film Moonfall. Exactly. That was a deep cut. This is... Except not that deep because it was a movie that just released, <laughs> but no one saw it, so it's a deep cut. Uh, I... Th this is the thing. Yes. Everyone thinks that I just appeared on this channel March 25th, 2022 in the meme review, but I've been here all along. I love that you know the exact date. <laughs> I do. Odd. Well done. I do. Nice. It was it was an important day for me. It, it was an important day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, okay, so... But no, you've been here all along. In spirit? In spirit. In spirit. In, in smoke. smoke. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> right? And if you've ever seen past episodes of GT Live and GT Not Live where I've coughed or Steph has coughed or we've waved away like a smoke <laughs> cloud or anything, it was that, just... that, wasn't, that wasn't just random pollen <laughs> flown in the air or dust or more often than not skip hair. It's skip hair. It was actually Ash. It was there all along. That's, that's why their name is Ash. Exactly. Did you ever think about that? Did you ever think about why the ethereal <laughs> being that I keep referring to off camera Ooh. is ash like smoke the remnant yes. the remnant of the burning <laughs> what the burned bur though ask yourself that oh no mm. what kind of arson were you doing that i don't know i mean we we have changed sets oh yeah so you know like <laughs> we had that wood set for a while you know and, and then we left that warehouse for reasons what could those reasons be? And if there's one thing that we've learned about warehouses in popular media, it's that they only have one purpose, and that is to burn. So true. Let's let's be honest. When in a movie, TV show, video game, or what have you, has a warehouse not erupted in flames? It's like the same as Chekhov's gun. If there's a warehouse, it's going to burn. <laughs> yeah. If, if you have a gun if, revealed in Act 1, it's going to fire by Act 3. If you have a warehouse revealed in Act 1... It's going to burn by Act 3. It's going to burn by Act 3. There you go. So uh, we are continuing to burn <laughs> through the Harmony and Horror tapes produced by the Baddington channel. Whoa. Yeah! Segway. How was that? that? That was really good, Matt. That was smooth. Smooth like butter. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, that's what we're going to do today is we're going to continue on into the, the deep and dark world of Baddington and weird clowns and creepy face licking puppet monsters. So without any further ado, let's, let's continue our quest with Good Boy. Good Boy. SLP. Super long play. Nice. Yeah. I'm glad that I can hammer into your brain this arcade knowledge of outdated technology. <laughs> oh, here we go. M and A Harmony Toys. Oh man, now we're working in some Poppy Playtime stuff in here. M and A. Okay. Oh, Milton and Arthur. So horror in Harmony, or that's these are this is like a brand of toys. Harmony. It's yeah. Harmony and horror. I, I guess Harmony Toys is the thing. Okay. I, and m and I'm assuming, is a reference to Milton and Arthur, who are our two kind of, like, guys that were fighting back and forth with each other in oh. episode two. One. 
Anything weird with the coloring? Primary colors. Yeah, I was trying to see if like all the letters spelled out anything. No, but yeah, it's, it doesn't seem like it does. Okay. I just, again, when I see letters that are different colors, I'm like, oh, there might be a code here. Are you dying of the same boring game for beating over and over wow. again? Wow. Wow. Ugly. Ugly and bad. What? <laughs> that was ugly and bad. Man, I love bad. how definitive your judgment was on that. Ugly and bad. Do not, do not like. No, it was terrible. Horrible. <laughs> Wow. Bad. Wow. You just don't seem to have anyone to talk to. Hold up. Sorry, Roku. I, I know I'm going to subject you to this again. Sorry. I apologize. Are you tired of the same boring game repeating over and over again? That's a weird thing to say. I. It might mean nothing. It might just be in the context of whatever this cheesy commercial is. But the fact that they're already talking about, like, uh, tired of the same boring days repeating over and over, that just is odd. Um... There's no idea, you know, there's no reference up to this point of this being like a time loop or events that have happened in the past recurring um, in some sort of like purgatory state. But I'm I'm making a mental note of it because that's that's just a weird thing to have called out. I mean, we do have time acting really weirdly in the Banzo clip. That is true. Yes. No, you're totally. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Uh, in the first Banzo clip, it was going back and forth. Yeah, we, it was kind of rewinding back and we were seeing like a split timeline where it was a toy, but then it was a big monster and stuff. No, so actually great call out. Thank you. Got you. That's that professorial <laughs> thought process going on right now. Knowledge. Knowledge. Just don't seem to have anyone to talk to. Nobody you share your secrets with. Yeah, this seems oddly targeted. Please, please don't vomit over the TriCaster. I won't. There's no three dots. Okay. Stitch buddy. Stitch buddy. No one to share your secrets with. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is the final toy. I mean, when I saw this, character the first time i'm like oh surely this is something that has been like stitched together with love and care like but it's a homemade doll but no this is this is what they're marketing it as stitch buddy stitch it's like buddy an ugly doll <laughs> can't talk I love you. <laughs> It'll laugh and sing, but my can't talk he just said i love you right that seems i feel like your marketing talking points might be a little off from what the final product of this is most importantly it'll keep your I love how every analog horror is required to have, like, the prolonged period of silence ending with, like, the glitch or jump scare. Or, in this case, the emotional zoom pan. Fade in. <laughs> like I'm watching, like, a music video. What was that? Oh, there are people hanging from the ceiling there. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Huh. They puppets? could just be puppets. Yeah, I think they're just puppets. Let's hope they're just puppets. Also, more ritual candles, uh, similar to what we saw with Sophia in the last one. Bonzo. Bonzo. Sorry, it's not Banzo, it's Bonzo. I love it. the animation. Oh! Whoa! Wait, what? Hang him by his jaw. That would hurt. That would be that would that would be a tough one. Upper jaw? Upper jaw would work. Bottom, I, I bottom guess jaw so. seems excessive. Lower jaw, you I don't it, I don't know how you do that. In an inefficient hanging mechanism. I guess you have a bone here and you have the soft palate here, so if you hooked it, this is gruesome. Ugh. If you hooked it through, you could hang it on the bone of the jaw, but I feel like the connection point with the, the mandible here. The, the, the mandible connecting into the greater skull would probably give way before. Knowledge. No <laughs> Knowledge! <laughs> if you were to kill someone, how would you kill them? Is, is this a question yeah, for me? Yeah, why not? Ash. I have 
never thought about great that. well think about it and the next time we do harmony and horror we'll talk about we'll it. do boss. great nice please think about how you'll kill another human being my job is great <laughs> <laughs> wonderful <laughs> Hmm. Huh. Is it a bunny? Is it a dog? Is it, a, it might be a dog. No, I and I think that's what it is. So going back to what I mentioned in that first episode where I'm like, oh, we had this FNAF theory where the dog was dead and was shoved into Mangle. I think that's what's actually happening here. Like, whereas in FNAF, nebulous, I, I that was an unpopular theory. It doesn't seem like future evidence has really supported it. I think it was good at the time, but you'll see. Uh, but here, I think that that might actually be what's happening is the dog has been killed or dead or whatever and has been shoved into Bonzo, Banzo. Oh, is this the dog that um they yeah. were talking about? Yeah, I that, mean, that, that was sense. hit by the car. You, I guess you wouldn't really name a human Bonzo. I mean, you wouldn't name a human, but also, like, this is the one animal character so far. Because last time we were talking about, like, oh, there's the weird animatronic baby and there's a puppet and right. there's a ventriloquist dummy. And there's an ice cream man, but it's a man. Yeah. This is the only animal so far in our mm. roster of possessed creatures. We also know that a dog has died. And also he just said, Bonzo, Banzo, speak. And so, right. like a dog. And, he and it doesn't talk. Right, and it doesn't talk, so. Right, you, you can hear a little bit of bark in the end of that kind of, like, metallic sound, so. Yeah, can you do that again? Yeah. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. You can hear the bark in there. So this is, and he's saying good stuff like good boy and stuff. So this is definitely a dog, I think. Bonzo. Bonzo. I want you to stay right there till I get back. All right? Good boy. So what size is he? That's my question. Because, again, we keep flipping back and forth between it being like a giant and it being like a normal toy. He's like a transformer. Oh, that's cool. I love the animation of this. It's really good. It's really good. And it, it adds a lot to the creep factor. And it, it, it feels very different from other of these like analog horror FNAF style things where it's all like still images and things like that. The fact that you're getting these like animation moments are, are so solid. And the pause and the jump scare. No. Bonzo just wanted to listen to his classical music. Hey, buddy. He's a toy again. Weird. What are you listening to? Oh, it's the doorbell. Oh, he is a little dog. I can't make it out. What's it say? Can you hear? You have better headphones than I do. Um... Can you hear anything or no? What the voice is not, saying? Not really. Okay. It's a lot of vowels. Is it? It might be I love you. Huh. Cool. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, it, um... Could you go back to yeah. where it does the in the in the commercial that people really need to get fired for? Um, yeah, yeah, what part? When it zooms in on um, toy version of Bonzo yeah, uh -huh. and goes, "I love you." Oh, oh, yeah. It'll laugh and sing, but most importantly, it'll keep your darkest secrets. <laughs> you might need to go back. Isn't? Oh, yeah. No, you're right. It, it, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mm, okay. It's really similar to that. Mm. 
Like it sounds like that, but slowed down. Hmm. Yeah, that's really interesting. So okay, so so the fact that he keeps your darkest secrets means that he saw something. Oh yeah. Like he saw one of the other murders, stuffings, whatever happen. I would think. Bonzo is definitely the dog. Or he saw how uh, dad treated the kids. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, exactly, yeah. Saw saw whatever was happening in the family and and has stayed quiet about it. I don't... What is he, though? Like, and, and again, like... Yeah. I don't get this transition between him being small and being... Like, maybe, you're right, maybe he is a transformer? Bumblebee! I guess, also, all... <laughs> <laughs> Bonzo, roll out! <laughs> we need to rescue the all spark, Bonzo! There's Decepticons everywhere! Oh no! Transform! <laughs> Bigger Bonzo! Wolf, wolf, wolf! Like Beast Wars! So it's it's worth noting though, here, right? So here, pull pull up the this one more time more one more time, because we can also piece this together. So here, right, what he's he's looking at us, missing his eye here. Mm. Missing his eye here. Missing his eye here. But when he's first created, he has both eyes here, right? Presumably this is like maybe prototype test or something like that. We don't see his face here. Lorge. Lorge. Grande. And then he's missing <laughs> his eye here. So at some point in this process, right, he loses an eye. Yes. For some reason. And here we can't. No, no, he's still missing his eye. Oh, yeah, he's still missing yeah. his eye here. Okay. Yeah, so so the eye is something that we'll have to pay attention to for Bonzo then. He's kind of cute in this picture, though. No, it's it's very cute. Like, I, I think a it's a cute cutie. doll, actually. Like, like in the sort of, you know, those ugly dolls, they're, like, built to be kind of, like, pieced together, patched together. It's like, oh, yeah. look at how kind of, like, Aww. cute and janky is. Or where you, like, mismatch your socks, and it's great. Yeah, just a little guy. All right, so uh, we got more clown time coming up with Rest Assure. All right, let's see. Mm, I love it when they hide in the darkness like that. Even before... Th so, okay, we could already see his face. Yes. Which implies... Huh. That's interesting. I don't know if this is just a creepy choice, but what this could presumably mean is that this is the clown watching these old tapes because each of these has started as an old vhs like they are called lost vhs tapes. oh like his reflection in the tea okay. yeah so this uh, the black mirror as it were da -da -da -da. that's interesting so now what if these lost vhs tapes are the clown because this is definitely the clown right, right here right watching these old tapes every single one has started with the slp stuff and he he's reflecting on the events that have happened or or whatever or maybe he's trying to piece the other story i don't know but the fact that it is before the series has started the episode has started and we're already seeing his face and then the tape gets inserted tells me that this is a reflection he is watching it which also goes to the idea of one of the other questions i've had is are the are the characters like when sophia reaches out and licks whatever and when bonzo is popping up and and looking at us are they looking at the camera in in the world of this movie right in the world of these vhs tapes are they looking at the camera that's filming them or are they breaking the fourth wall and looking at the person who's you know watching them right now which i guess oh. is in this case the clown and that changes our i guess our um um interpretation of when we saw the clown like when yeah. we said yes i'll sing right and then the clown was like, hee hee. Right. Was it a reflection? Right. Yeah, it, it, it throws into contrast every time we've seen the clown, like, has it been just a reflection of him? Or is he actually in the tape? Like, is he part of the tape? Huh. Good catch. Oh, and yeah, you, you can see yeah, him. Even here, you can still see him. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, again, it's a reflection. Huh. So he's, so the clown is watching the tapes. Fascinating. Okay. Cool. Still. Th th throughout this whole video, I, it's... Yeah, throughout this whole video, he's still there. Great. This is... 
Yep, this is the therapy I'm looking for. I don't like that mind is capitalized. No, you don't call your mind mind. You respect your mind, Ash. Yeah, I, I just... But I don't know. I'm a little afraid to have mind be its own thing because if mind if it is a separate thing, then what am I? I mean, you have a mind of your own. Yeah, but like without my mind, I don't function. Isn't that weird that your mind just is a, is the entity that kind of like makes all the conglomeration? Here, here's that weird like existential thing. Our bodies are made up of a bunch of small living organisms called cells, right? And they all just <laughs> exist. Yes. And yet our mind is also made up of those, but also together functions to create a sense of self. Yeah, but like our consciousness is only in the front of our brains. Right. And like we are our brains, but the rest of our brain deals with things in our body that right. we have no idea what it is. Right. Isn't that weird? That blows my our, our mind, body is, which is me. Right. Our body is like a, a, a giant Gundam suit, basically. Ugh. Like this is this is the pie and he's like hopping in Gundam go. Doo, doo, doo. That's, <laughs> doo, doo, doo. that's that's what my Gundam suit wishes it could do. All right. <laughs> you may have experienced a troubling event. You may have committed an unspeakable act. I feel like that might be it. You may have committed a sin. Oh no. This is escalated. Rest assured that all your problems Rest. will melt away. Oh, great. It's that, it's that easy. It's that easy. Whatever. Whatever unspeakable act you committed, whatever. Just wash it away. Oh, make me feel better. Okay, ready? I'm ready. We're going to do this. I'm ready, Matt. It's a breathing technique. Turn away from the mic to breathe. Okay. I guess we're just supposed to breathe. Okay. See, they they get it. They do. Self help tape gets it. They do. They understand. Also, even stranger than all of this is that atoms are like ninety eight percent space, empty space, mm -hmm. and yet like we're able to feel things, but we don't actually touch them because our electrons repel the other electrons. Right. That messes me up, man. It, existence is weird, man. It's so weird. We're breathing in air, even though our we ourselves are like predominantly just like empty space air in our atoms. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. Breathe. Rest assured as your angel. Isn't it rest assured? It is rest assured. Okay. I just want one of those moments where I'm like, am I crazy in this case or is this crazy? Okay. Rest assured uh, that your angel will take you. My angel, huh? Ah! What? what? Can you rotoscope me out? I'm That's sorry. like me when I've done sound in like student films when I'm trying to keep the boom out of like I'm just like hiding in the most random spaces. This, this reminds me of uh, we did a we did a, a, a 360 shoot in Japan uh, a couple years ago uh, that you could you know look through the magic window or where like a Google Daydream or whatever, and the camera is literally like a UFO of camera. It's 16 GoPro cameras that capture an entire like sphere of footage, right? Yeah. But there's a limited window of uh, blind spot to it, like a, a cone of invisibility right at the top and a cone of invisibility right at the bottom. And so one of our camera guys literally had to like climb down underneath into this cone. <laughs> like it wasn't a real cone, but like a, a, a visual cone where like he, the cameras wouldn't catch a very small field and like literally exist in the cone or like push it around. And then he would disappear. That way you don't... Because when you're thinking about filming in 360, it captures everything. And you want to make things disappear and not see the cameraman or his body or his feet or whatever. So hiding down there. So there you go. That's that's him. That's, that's Henry right now. He knows what to do. Okay. What was Henry doing? He's like, hey, I know... I know you're trying to do a uh, self-help tape. Mind if I'm here on set today? 
that also, was Sophia. Brinton? Yeah, that's Sophia there. Huh. Right, Sophia was definitely there. Now it's it's like it's like an I spy. Like where's Waldo? Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Hold the phone. It said our exercise. And the exercise was just breathe. Do you not feel relaxed? I be breathing all the time. <laughs> it's impressive for a smoke cloud. Yeah, you uh -huh. know, I, I try. I, I be breathing all the time. I be breathing all the time. If it was going to work, then I would be totally fine all the time. You know. Someone you know, was not licensed to give this advice. I was going to say, th that's why you always got to double check the sources. Man. Exactly. You pay, I guarantee you paid like three installments of 1999 for this tape series <laughs> right here in the 90s. Like, oh man, you too can achieve mental perfection and, and true relaxation. It's just going to cost you three installments of 1999. But wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Because we're also going to throw in like the back massager <laughs> and this custom tote. This not the custom tote. Oh, you gotta have the custom tote. That's value add right there. Always the tote. Always the tote. All in on the totes. Oh. Totes, totes. 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 Hey. Okay. Okay. See now. We're... Okay. So the clown is afraid and regretting his decisions. It seems like maybe. Which is why he's watching this self-help tape. Ice cream man. Ah, I'm so relaxed. See, this is helpful. I'm feeling really good about things. Right now. I'm glad. You? Feeling relaxed? Good? I mean, I'm, I'm still just breathing. <laughs> I hear In a field. I hear you do it all the time. Yeah. Constantly. Rest assured, no one can hurt you. Oh, Ice Cream Man's got his teeth bared. I love that he's a professional, though, consummate professional, with the tie always at the ready. Oh, yeah. He's like Donkey Kong that way. Well, he's an Ice Cream Man. Yeah, not, not an Ice Cream Boy. No. Not an Ice Cream Juvenile. No. Not even your brother. Hey! I, did, in a box. I, I like that the ice cream man was just bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if he just breathed. Right? He wasn't breathing. He wasn't breathing. Uh, his technique was all off. No. He was not imagining himself in, a, in an ice cream field. No. Hey, but guess what? What? Now we know. Now they're we brothers. Know. They're brothers. They're brothers. Clown, presumably, ice and cream. ice cream man are brothers. Just two guys being bros, being dudes. Yeah, uh, doing, living their life, doing what they know best. Yeah. Clowning and ice cream sales. Just brother things. Yeah, hashtag brother things. <laughs> I know if I had a brother, that's where our lives would have wound up. You don't have a brother, Matt? I don't. Or a sister. I'm an only child. There's only one of me. The world couldn't handle more. <laughs> we've, we've broken the system. <laughs> you know, Can you imagine two of me running? It'd be miserable. Oh, I think that'd be fun. One of them would be the dark version of me, just like anti Matt Pat. <laughs> Dat Pat? Pat or would it be like Pat Matthias Pat. Pathias? Whoa, see, that's that's the oldie version of me. Matthias Pathias, that's the Amish. <laughs> the either the ye oldie version or the Amish version of me. He's out there doing a barn raising right now. <laughs> out in the middle of Pennsylvania. I'm just imagining you churning butter. <laughs> Matthias Pathias. <laughs> Matthias Pathias churning butter. And not churning butter in a dryer like a normal Matt Pat does. But with an actual butter churn. <laughs> Doing his thing. Living his life. Oh my god. <laughs> Making some oak furniture. <laughs> oh my god, I love Matthias. Matthias. <laughs> having a nice beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. He's 
he's pretty great, isn't he? Matthias, I kind of wish you had a brother now. I know, right? Best version of me. No, I'm sorry it's not the best down. version of you. That's not true. It's just an alternate version <laughs> it of It is you. AU. It's an AU. It is. In, in, a, in, in the multiverse of madness. There's... It's like Amish exclamation point MatPat. Amish you. It's already and, on AO3. It is literally an AU, an Amish universe. It is on AO3 as we speak. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> churning his butter in the morning and raising his barn in the afternoon Gee for whiz. fun he makes oak chairs rocking if, if he's feeling spicy he makes it a rocking chair Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> i'm feeling spicy today Make, making myself a chair <laughs> oh, oh. you just you go home and stephanie is just like there why do we have 17 chairs in our living room with remarkably low ceilings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amish make great donuts, by the way. They do? Oh, I've been to Amish country many a time. Huh. Uh, Ohio actually has the highest percentage. Even though Pennsylvania gets all the credit, Ohio, where I grew up, has the highest percentage of, like, uh, Amish, uh, Pennsylvania Dutch, like, communities. You know? Really? And so I've, I've been to Amish country a lot, so... I've, so, I've, I've bought a lot of oak for like not not I personally my family's bought a lot of oak furniture over the years from the various barns and places where they the, the the commercialization of Amish country has actually been really interesting to watch throughout my lifetime because it started as them just in their barns selling their furniture but now there are like more shopping plazas and stuff still uh, uh, of Amish goods you know where it's still like the Amish furniture the Amish crafts and things like that but now with you know but now next door is the, like the amish bakery and next to that is the like you have small amish strip malls that have really kind of developed oh my it's God. really interesting uh, amish strip malls kind of yeah it's the or the equivalent i mean there's like three stores or maybe it's like a main drag and there's a couple stores in a row or whatever but yeah it, it, it went from one off like craftsmen to like oh we're starting to consolidate and figure out that like by making it all in one place, it's much more convenient from a shopping experience for both ourselves and tourists. Oh, I, so the the concept of Matthias Pathias was actually quite plausible. Oh, 100%, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, it, if wow, I had been, dude. if I had been born like two hours south in Ohio, <laughs> that would have been me. Two hours south. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Matthias Pathias with my beard. I love it. That's oh, it. it. <laughs> Making my furniture. Eating my donuts. Amish donuts. Anytime you're in Amish country, get an Amish donut. Well, now I know. It must be from all that Great. butter. I mean, it's churned. Yeah. Do I they to, put to... butter in donuts? What's that? Do they put butter in donuts? I don't believe so. Oh, dang it. Missed opportunity. Maybe they should, though. Maybe they can glaze it with, like, butter. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Anyway. Also, Amish ice cream. Solid. All Ooh. right. There you all go. Right. So they're brothers. So I'm not a clown, I'm a jack-in-the-box. Also clown? Jack-in-the-boxes are the worst toys. Like, is this fun for anyone? Who has fun with this? And, and like, it's it, it, a built-in jump scare? Is that is that fun? I mean, how many people play Five Minutes at Freddy's? Fair. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ooh, 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 unexpected. Way to play with expected. That's called subverting expectations. Oh, oh. Oh, he's ugly. Oh, that is so scary. Oh, I don't like that. That was the first thing in this to make me actually jump. Wow, that's a great scare. Uh, why what? he purple? What's he attached to? Why is he purple? Well, because he's the purple guy. He's the purple guy! We've done it. Universe! I Sorry, I shouted. I probably broke the microphone in that moment. Well, the computer yelled for a minute. Okay. Everyone yelled. We all had an epiphany in that moment. We, we did. Even the computer was like, holy heck! Yeah. It's, it's this, clown trap! It's clown... Clown trap! You're so right. It is clown trap. It's clown trap. It is. It's clown trap. What is he attached to? Um. What is that? Is it a bar? Is it... It's his stick classic yeah. yes the jack in the box the, the classic jack in the box stick purple guy stick all right that was scary it's 
see his stick is here too. It's his stick. Yeah. Spooky eyes! All right, time for one more? Yeah. I think we got time for one more, right? Oh, absolutely. Great, awesome. She can't sleep. Uh, great. These are great. It's, I'm, I'm very intrigued. So now they're brothers, so the brothers feuded and killed each other. Oh man, look look at that fan art right there. That's that's the sort of fan art that isn't gonna give you nightmares when you lay down at night. It's great. I love like the dress. Yeah, good dress. Yeah. Good dress. Now your mom and I are gonna be on a business meeting, so mommy might not be back for quite a while. Mm. So I'll see you in the morning, okay? Will you sing me a lullaby? Will you sing? Huh? Huh? You will not sing, which which we said last time was canon. Whoa. There's Brian and Diana are going to be up here, and I can't sleep. Well, Daddy's pretty busy, so just try to go to sleep. And I want to go to bed before I sleep. No, AC. Okay, yep. Oh, here's the lore. Now the lore comes tumbling in. Oh, heck yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a mountain of lore that's that's pouring in at this point. So, so mommy and daddy yep. aren't there. We've got the brother mm -hmm. who refuses to sing. So this is clown. This is clown talking. Yeah. Right? Yes. Am I right in assuming this? Yes. Okay. I think this is clown. Yeah, this is clown, which is Arthur? One of them's Milton, one of them's Arthur. Right. Where's my note? It's on the phony. Phony! Jerry, maybe. We have to see what people think. Yeah, Jerry. It's up to the people. Jerry. It's up to the people. Yeah. Up to the people. Um, <laughs> right, but Arthur... What was it? It was Goodbye Arthur, wasn't it? Goodbye Arthur. Yeah. But Arthur was... Just keep the flow... Okay, Martin. So, Martin, what have you done? So, this is him killing Arthur and presumably putting him in Ice Cream Man? Who's I, Ice Cream Man? I think man? so. Who's Ice Cream Man? So, is Arthur Martin's brother? Yeah, Martin and so Arthur. So, is that the kid's uncle? Yeah. So, Martin, what have you done? So Martin is the one who, okay, so Martin is the one who, Martin is the clown. I think so. Right? Yeah. Okay, which means that Arthur then is probably the ice cream man. Who presumably slept with Martin's wife? Yeah. Oof. That's rough, buddy. Oh, Martin. What's going on between you two? Martin, stop like that. Yeah. So I fixed our little problem means that it sounds like Martin went on like a murder spree, right? Yeah, and, and killed. And killed at least the wife, if not everyone else. Which is why we're able to see Henry back here. Yeah. In the back. And then this is him finishing off Arthur. Arthur then becomes Ice Cream Man. Oh, Yep. What have you done? Classic line. And then there's the gunshot, and there it is. Okay. Okay. Shoot. 
I tossed my... I tossed my post-its! Post-its, no! No! Shoot. Where'd they go? Where did they go? Um, They've... Sus! They disappeared! Here, I'll, I'll do it on the back. So, we've got... I have no idea. Martin is... Oh, they're by your, your foot. Wait. Oh! Good one. Yeah. Okay, Martin. Martin is the clown. And we got Arthur is Ice Cream Man. We still don't know where the wife is. We haven't seen really where the wife goes. True to form with all these FNAF-esque stories, the, the wife is always like, she's gone. No one ever really mentions her. She might be in Ballora. Who knows? No one ever admits that. All right. Oh, not in Ballora. Not in Ballora. Let's administer a controlled shock. Ah, good reference. I'll pay you in exotic butters later. Oh, thank Yes. Amish butters? Oh. Amish butters. Amish butters. Amish butters. Amish butters. Okay. Okay, mommy and daddy are gone. She says, well, daddy. Well, daddy, can you sing me a lullaby? So is the clown the father of everyone? I guess. Oh yeah, because you were cheating on my wife. My wife was sleeping with you. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Okay. So that makes sense. That's the, that still aligns. Well, Daddy's pretty busy, so you know, just let me know when you're ready. Daddy's got to dress up like a clown and kill some folk. Yeah. Screw you, Daddy. Enough. Oh, this poor. Oh, please. Sing for this poor child. Ah! Connection. Oh, and um, take away too. There you go. Can you make it not horrific, Daddy? Can you make it not nightmare? No, apparently not. Ah. Nope. Nope. Apparently not. <laughs> question asked. Question answered. And that matches the drawing on the wall. Yep. Okay. Oh, look, her eyes are so much less scary now than they were in her previous upload. Hey, hey, Daddy, I, I think you might have wanted, like, another prototype or two on the... Like, you, you might have wanted to product test this one out a little bit. Hey, He's Daddy. like, this, I got it. We're good. Hey, Daddy, you have time to make an entire toy but can't sing me freaking Ba Ba Black Sheep? Wow, pulling out Ba- of all the nighttime songs, Ba Ba Black Sheep, huh? Uh, I don't know, it was the first one that came to mind. It's amazing. What lullabies do you sing, Ollie? Uh, Hush Little Baby is classic, oh, okay. obviously. Uh, there's one that Steph and I sing that's about inchworms and counting. Like that's, inchworms? Yeah it's, yeah, it's a little inchworm, inchworm, measuring oh. the marigolds. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's cute. Uh, it also teaches math in their sleep. But oh. mostly it's cute. Oh, okay. Wait, math? Yeah, because that, 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 during like the bridge of it, it's like one plus one is two, two and two are four, four and four, eight, 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 eight or sixteen, or you can mix it up with whatever. Uh, but like, yeah, and then inchworm, inchworm, and then we mix it up with like inchworm, pinchworm, and he's like, ah, pinchworm. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> ah, pinchworm. And then, and then we, and then usually he'll ask me to count, and so uh -huh. I'll like, count by like, I'll be like, what do you want me to count by? And they'll be like five, and I'll be like five, ten, fifteen, and we'll count to thousand. Oh. <laughs> Let's do times tables to go to sleep. Here's what I'm what I'm thinking. Yeah. If you were in Martin's spot, none of this would have happened. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully not. No. That's, uh, who knows, though? My kid is three. This, remains to be seen. This whole thing could have been avoided if... <laughs> If Martin had just sung the inchworm song. Right? Just an, just one inchworm song, right? That's all yeah, you needed. That is all you needed. Also, right? You could you could phone in a twinkle twinkle little star. Exactly. Like that's a short song. Ex but no. You decided to put aside hours and hours and hours to create uh this 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 this, this spawn. <laughs> For why? For the reason of love, why. Love. 
What's what? What is the logic here? I mean, you know, he's he's playing the long game, right? He's playing like one. If you give one Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, sure, that's like thirty seconds of song. But across y years of singing, you know, you're gonna net out like maybe you saved yourself an hour by building out this animatronic monstrosity. But the argument of like, I'm too busy. I that's one of the yeah. He's at, lying. Yeah, he the, sits on the throne of lies. <laughs> well, let's hear what. Oh, great. I love this song. This is a great song. What's up? This is a bop. This is a bop right here. You can also see her forehead split. I don't think that's the... Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Oh, man, they're trying to get out. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh. Don't come up. oh no! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad, bad. Oh no! Oh, no! Hey, so uh, my intense reaction actually screwed up the uh, audio, right? Yeah, we we had to do, we had to do a hard reset. Yes, uh, <laughs> apparently me being shocked and appalled at the behavior of this bad dad uh, and and the intensity <laughs> of this series uh, peaked the audio so badly that we had to we had to restart. So this is Ash caught it quick. We're back on the couch. We're good to go. We are all cool in the pool, Matt. Okay, I, I mean I'm I'm cool in the pool, but. I'm worried about what's going to happen. Don't worry. You have the phony to, to support you. I do. You, they're here. Squeak, you squeak. Hug. Squeeze. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, the squeak. I forgot about the squeak. Yeah. We'll He's really comforting. I know. Moderately comforting. <laughs> well, uh, th think about it. It could be a monster that like opens its maw and shoots a little like demon tongue at me and kills me. That's true. But I could feel be like a phony. He could be a phony, but I feel like if he was, then he's doing a really good job of covering it up. So he's playing the long game. Yeah. Playing the long game. He's been playing the long game. Okay, let's let's pick back up. Let's hop back in this. Okay. This is this is intense. This is this is scary in a way that the other FNAF stuff uh, tends not to be because it's tapping into things that as a as a dad I'm like this is this is not okay. All right. Okay, so already there's eyes. I'm noticing that. Uh, we'll come back and talk about that in a second. I don't want to like immediately stop. <laughs> but it looks like it's Banzo. Oh! Look, it's it's moving, isn't it? Oh, it's there. Oh, it's there. Oh, hold up real quick, real quick since I, I I know I wasn't going to stop it too much, but here. This was Is that a... Okay, is that Is that upside down crosses? Or is that the marionette? No, it is. It, I thought for I couldn't tell if that was like the marionette like puppet string uh manipulator, like the crossbar for it. Or if it's uh, literal upside down crosses, but uh, de definitely literal upside down crosses. So yep. This so do it. I I and th I'm surprised because I wasn't sure if this was a series where it was gonna be playing off the like oh remnant and like oh the agony of children going nope they're literally summoning the devil. Great. Oh, it's just looking at us. Awful. Oh, and it's like jaw is broken too, which just adds to the creep factor here. Oh, that doll. Awful. Oh, Henry. I can't see. I can't see you. Oh. Ooh, spooky shadows. 
It's like he's like the clown prince. Oh, this is scary, man. This is intense. Hey, Dad, can you sing me a lullaby? Sure, I can, son. <laughs> Maybe Henry's lucky here. When Henry's like, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see you. Maybe there's a good reason for that, Henry. Because I don't think anyone wants that being the last thing they see before they go to bed at night. <laughs> Spooky clown prince. He's mad at you. Hold up. This is low. There we go. I'm sorry I made you mad. He's mad at you. I'm sorry I won't ask this again. Just please fix my eyes. Everything hurts. Oh! Ha! Oh! Oh. 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 oh, okay. All right. Hi. Oh, man. Well, that solves the, uh, the, the question about the, the demon sacrifices. Is that a demon goat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be, um, what was it? Uh, not... Uh, not bat, uh, bat, uh, what, it's not the summon from Final Fantasy, uh, ba Bahamut. It's not Bahamut, it's Baphomet? Baphomet, I think. Oh, that it. sounds correct. Goat demon, goat demon. Yeah, Baphomet, there it is. I like, I like that it's clicked out because it's, it's something that I, I actually search frequently. <laughs> I was about to say, you've been here before. No, it's, uh, it's because of one of those things where, uh, Poppy, actually, um, Poppy, the, the pop star channel, uh, who does music and is, oh, Poppy. like, we were covering her back in the day, uh, early in her career, and she did a lot of Baphomet imagery, um, I was, Hello Neighbor has a lot of, like, demonic imagery. Maybe not Baphomet, but, like, it's one of those things that is not infrequently showing up on the channels. Um, yeah, bah yeah, Bahamut, Bahamut is the, the, like, goat, what, what are they saying? Yeah, it's the, it's like the, the oxen that shows up, and I always associate it with Final Fantasy summons, whereas Baphomet is, yeah, goat demon that you, you know, yeah, the, basically satanic goat i know that's not satanic but this the satanic goat that you sacrifice to and then apparently it shoves your children's spirits into the dead dolls so that's that's super cool super cool <coughs> oh bless you matt thank bless us all <laughs> honestly if this is if this is what we're doing here we could all use some blessings after this one Ooh, okay <laughs> Wow, that, Ooh, is so oh, that, is so, really that is so loud. That is so loud. That is so loud. I mm, hey, can we peek? I'm taking can, down in post. Can, can we peek the audio again, Ash? That would be great. Let's, I I just I want to break the equipment so bad, Matt. Ap apparently, Harmony and Horror does too. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow, that's it is so, so loud. I, even I've turned it down to like 25 percent of what it was. Okay, so what, hold up. I, not that I want to listen to this anymore, but I'm curious. Please. What is okay? So what's 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 flashing? Okay, oh, it's the doll. Okay, so the images that are flashing across the screen are the closet and the Sophia doll. So uh, so presumably this is Baphomet inputting Macy's soul into the Sophia doll, right? Like that's kind of what we can attribute here. Hence the the ritualistic candles. Hence the goat head literally screaming at us. I think that's what's going on here. Love that sound design. Oh, okay, there's there's that one of the doll. And there's her eyes, slowly peering out from the mouth. Creepy, I'm getting like goosebumps. Oh, I hate that sound design. I mean, I, it's really good, but it's also just awful. In, in that, like, just creepy unsettling because it's not, like, a natural tone or natural music at all. It's just, like, these weird notes and chords that don't make sense together. 
that makes it very unsettling. Wow. Wow. Uh man, this is this is dark, dude. This is dark in a way that all the other one, all these other you know react series are not are not um couple things that come to mind is first off i i am confused about henry yeah so henry here has his eyes the henry doll has his eyes we've seen him in other clips where he doesn't have his eyes but he's saying he's still saying he can't see is this a literal thing is it a figurative thing did he literally have his eyes removed by his dad before he was shoved into a doll? Or is this just like, it doesn't, the doll doesn't work? I don't know. I can't tell what that one's going for. But it seems like the idea of him not being able to see is a recurring image slash recurring like line that is specific to his character. And I'm sure that that's going to play a big role in the lore. Um, the other thing I wanted to throw out here is, like I said... Here's the eyeballs at the bottom, which makes me wonder, are these the eyes of Banzo? Bonzo? Because he's got two eyes. They're both, they both look pink, kind of magenta-y, which makes me think, and, and as we saw earlier, Bonzo, when he's first awakened, when he's first created, does have two eyes. At some point, he loses the eye, but it's... But it's one of those things that when he saw your deep, dark secrets, or you can tell him his deep, dark secrets, I wonder if this is what that's a reference to. You know, it is this child doll that somehow lives or has a dog spirit inside of it that is watching this scene play out. This this idea of like, here's Macy, the daughter, being ritualistically sacrificed and sh to Baphomet so that way she can be reborn into this perpetually singing doll, Sophia. Which, gotta be honest, again, is a long way to go for avoiding a round of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. True. Like, so true. Like, to be fair, Steph and I have this debate. Like, when, when I'm putting Ollie to bed, we do our nightly, he asks three questions and we talk about three things. Then I sing him a song and then I count to a thousand by, by fives. Stephanie gives him an option of one of those things. Whereas I'm like, I'll do them all because I'm the pushover daddy, whatever. Um... <laughs> You know, so to sing like, twink I sang to him, I sang him Twinkle Twinkle Little Star the other day. And I'm like, oh, this is a very short song. Like, I felt bad that I'm like, this was only like a verse. It was like 30 seconds. Like, I need to sing you like an, an aria or something. <laughs> so for this, for this guy, the, this bad dad here to go out of his way to ritualistically summon uh, demons of Satan in order to avoid singing his daughter a 30 second Twinkle Twinkle. You gotta, you gotta question your priorities at that point, friend. Like, really, what, what's the trade-off? Parenting tips with Matthew Patrick, uh, or maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm parenting wrong. Maybe the secret to eternal happiness is make your daughter into a marionette doll with a open forehead. <laughs> Look at that split open forehead. What happiness would that bring you? You get a pretty dress. That, that's the takeaway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can go to, to you could go to Goodwill, Matt. It's we true. can we can shop for pretty dresses together. You don't need to go to that extent. No, no, no. I don't need to create a living doll. Yeah, I mean, for what you don't have a daughter, of, but... soul, my soul and the souls of my family <laughs> to demon god. Yeah, it's a life hack. I, I will say it'll save me a lot of money on candles. It will. Ritualistic, I, ritualistic candles always seemed a little bit excessive to me. Like, I'm very conservative about burning candles around the house. Because, yeah, candles are expensive. They are. You go to Bed Bath & Beyond, those things, you know, or uh, Bath & Body Works, those things are going to rack you up a bill. Mm -hmm. So you would only use them on special occasions, uh, like relaxing bath time. But the good And even sniff. then, you're very conservative. You blow them out immediately. None, none of this, like, let them linger or whatever. And so to see all these candles bandied about higgledy-piggledy, oh. who, who defines the amount of ritualistic candles that you need? in order to properly transition the spirit of a, a child into a, a, a doll figure. Has anyone considered that? How many candles does it take? Five? Seven? Eight? Ten? Where's the cutoff? We can go back and count them. Just saying. <laughs> if there was a guide for this sort of thing, that'd be great. That'd oh, I'm great. sure there is. You think so? Yeah. Whenever I see it in media, it's back. always like random candles. Random candling. 
go to the back of like any used bookstore and I guarantee you there will be some guidebook on how to uh, how to conduct satanic rituals. There's going to be guidelines on what candles you need. Yeah, there's probably school. videos on YouTube about has, it. Has anyone tried like Philips Hue lights? You know, like candle, like little light bulbs. Because I mean, obviously, candles were like your option back in the day. But d does a light bulb work perfectly fine? Like, why not? Why not? <laughs> Step into the modern day Baphomet. <laughs> get with the, get with the times, Baphomet. You conduct a ritual with lamps. Yeah, like little, little <laughs> maybe flashlights. <laughs> Line it with a bunch of flashlights. You turn on like the flashlight of your phone. Yeah, little phone lights. <laughs> Bop out one of those like car repair like lanterns. I think that'll just summon like Jeff Bezos. Got like two thousand lumens of power right here. Oh no! How many lumens is the appropriate lumen requirement <laughs> for soul transfer for demonic riches? That's that is the question, my friends. So uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. So as always, remember it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. Sleep well. Mm.